A new Daredevil series is coming to Disney+. Plus. Since time immemorial, or at least since 2018, mankind has looked to the stars and wondered when we would possibly get another season of Daredevil. The first and most vocally beloved of the Netflix Marvel series reintroduced the world to Matt Murdock, an attorney by day and masked vigilante by night. It was a show that gave us brutal hallway fights and gave me a lifelong fear of Vincent D'Onofrio opening the car door for me. <laughs> Fans have been champing at the bit for even more Matt Murdock ever since the series was canceled back in 2018. However, a clause in Marvel's contract with Netflix precluded the House of Ideas from using any of the characters from the Marvel Netflix shows in any non-Netflix projects for a period of at least two years after cancellation. Now that Murdock moratorium is over and the Man Without Fear is about to become the Man With a Disney Plus series. After Vincent D'Onofrio returned as Kingpin in Hawkeye and Charlie Cox had a cameo as a really good lawyer in Spider-Man No Way Home, Daredevil fans were feverishly speculating that a new series might also be in the works. <clears throat> That's great. Thank you. Back in February, Charlie Cox sparked another round of speculation while speaking with the Radio Times. When asked about when he might next play Daredevil, he said, I know something. I don't know much, but I know there will be something else. And while Cox is rumored to be playing Matt Murdock again on the MCU's upcoming lawyer-centric series She-Hulk Attorney at Law and potentially appearing in the Echo series, the Devil of Hell's Kitchen is not being relegated to the role of side player in other heroes' stories. On Friday, Variety reported that Marvel Studios have tapped Covert Affairs co-creators Matt Corman and Chris Ord to write and executive produce the upcoming Daredevil series. No word yet on who might be returning from the cast, but... I think you might be able to guess. Guess that means we should get back to work. And while Disney and Marvel declined to comment on this report, it does confirm that listing in Production Weekly that included an in-development Daredevil reboot among its list of films and TV shows gearing up for production. Now, that listing came prior to Corman and Ord's involvement, only listing Marvel Studios resident baseball hat enthusiast Kevin Feige and Marvel's Behind the Mask producer Chris Gary as the upcoming show's producers. Previous Daredevil showrunners also took to social media to express their support of Corman and Ord taking the reins. Season 3 showrunner Eric Olison said, Thrilled to learn that Daredevil lives on. Best cast and best fan base ever. Responding to a fan expressing concerns about a brand new creative team, Daredevil Season 1 showrunner Stephen Denight had this to say, I personally look forward to the next chapter in Dee Dee's life and wish everyone involved the absolute best. Now, as a reminder to other fans out there with similar concerns or foggy memories, Daredevil had a different showrunner for each of its three seasons on Netflix, so sometimes change can be a good thing. Speaking of change, the biggest question of all is whether or not this new Daredevil series is going to be a fresh take on the character with familiar faces or a continuation of what was established during its previous seasons on Netflix. Well, we may now have our answer. According to The Hollywood Reporter, sources close to the project say it will be notable for being the first of the Netflix Marvel shows to get a new but continued series. This is in line with Charlie Cox's comments during an appearance at the Middle East Film and Comic Con back in early March. When asked about what a future Daredevil series might entail, he said, In keeping with a lot of things in the MCU, it's a good moment to have a few years pass. It's reimagined, it's slightly different, it's born again. And look, while Born Again is the name of an iconic 1986 Daredevil storyline by Frank Miller, David Mazzucchelli, Joe Rosen, and Christy Mack Shaley, that isn't a wink and a nod to the camera on Cox's part. The Netflix show already covered a fair bit of that storyline in its second and third seasons. Rather, Cox is likely talking about how after the blip in the events of Avengers Endgame, the MCU is in its time skip era. This is basically MCU Shippuden. You can easily advance characters' storylines or pick up with them where we left off, as fits the needs of the show. Case in point, in Hawkeye, we picked up with a Wilson Fisk who was no longer in prison. Rather, he was running a vast criminal enterprise in New York City that spanned decades. We got a sense of this character's history and the impact that he had on newer characters in the MCU like Echo, who's also getting a Disney Plus series of her very own. Now, you might be nodding along to yourself and saying, hmm, yes, yes, Dan, indeed, but didn't Wilson Fisk also die at the end of Hawkeye? Well, folks, that is what we're led to believe. But given that Kingpin is not an alias of Uncle Ben, I think the character's more than safe for now. More importantly, a similar storyline played out in the comics with Echo taking revenge on Kingpin for her father's death. 
Surviving multiple gunshot wounds at close range, Kingpin was blinded during this attack, but instead of gaining a newfound empathy for Matt Murdock, he just doubled down on being a total wiener and eventually got reconstructive eye surgery in Daredevil number 50. And while I fully expect to meet some different villains in the upcoming Daredevil series, the chance to reunite Charlie Cox's Matt Murdock and Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin, that is too juicy to pass up. Plus, that could make for fertile narrative ground in the upcoming Echo series as well. As for the tone of this new show, many fans are wondering if they will have the same gritty, blood-soaked sensibilities as the Netflix seasons did. Honestly, it's too early to tell, but shows like WandaVision and Moon Knight haven't shied away from fairly mature topics as well. Despite concerns from fans, hyperviolent Marvel Netflix shows like Punisher were not censored for Disney+. Plus. So as for what this means for Daredevil, maybe content warnings are in its future, and we might not get another 11 minute long one-shot prison riot, but I don't expect a G-rated Devil of Hell's Kitchen anytime soon. Speaking with comic book, Charlie Cox also addressed concerns over a potentially less mature version of Daredevil. He said, if they wanted to make a more PG version of Daredevil, I back them to find a way to do it where it feels totally in keeping with everything we've done. And maybe there's a little less blood, maybe there's a little whatever, but I back them to do it. Anyway, folks, there you have it. That is everything we know about the new Daredevil series coming to Disney+. Plus. We'll keep you posted as we learn more, but in the meantime, folks, tell us, what do you think of this news? What do you want to see from a new Daredevil series, and why? And who do you think should be the villain? Mm, bullseye. Let us know in the comments below, and for the latest and greatest in the world of pop culture, make sure you stay tuned to Nerdist.com.